I feel very, very fortunate, and I feel delighted that I can care, uh, come here and be accepted and meet friends like this, comrades uh, that survived all these years. And I am here for the honor flight, and I brought my father. He's 94. He was in the Philippines. He was a petty officer first class. Uh, he had over a thousand people that reported to him, which was unheard of for uh, blacks back then. Today we'll go to uh, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Illinois, uh, Lincoln Memorial. Then we go to the Navy Yard. Uh, we do four days, three nights. You know, our three key points. Number one, don't rush them. Let them enjoy the trip. Number two, let them meet each other. A lot of guys don't meet each other and they get to be friends and they meet each other and they have that bond. And number three, a lot of family members go. So the families get to see the vets and they get to talk and they hear things that they never heard before from their, their fathers or their grandfathers. This is the first time that he's ever really been able to heal. When he met Robert, I think his name is, in our group of 96 people, those two are the only, uh, Robert and my father are the only two uh, World War II veterans that are here. One of the things that Robert keeps talking about is apologizing for how black military people were treated. It just, it, it, it really meant a lot to him that Robert apologized for the country, really, for how he and his brethren were treated and it's really affected him.